Joy News can confirm South Forest Reserves are active with irresponsible mining contrary to President Okufuado's assertion that all reserves have been cordoned and protected. The President in January this year said the country's forest reserves are under the protection of security agencies, but a trip to Apamprama Forest Reserve in the Ashanti region indicates extensive devastation of the natural resource. Even at the time the President was making that statement, in the first of a series of documentaries titled Forest Under Siege, Erasmus Asari Donko puts the spotlight on the Apamprama Forest Reserve. In January this year, President Akufuado gave assurance that all forest reserves have been cordoned off and protected. The Ministry of Lands and Natural Resources has, through the agency of the Forestry Commission, with the assistance of the military, made the effort to cordon off all 294 sites of forest reserves in the country and rid them of illegal mining. But even at the time of making that statement, the Apamprama Forest Reserve in the Ashanti region was being pillaged by Chinese miners and their Ghanaian collaborators. Today, one cannot distinguish between the Odahun, Kobro, Abuyakwa, and Binenebin sections of the Apamprama Forest Reserve. The devastation stretches deep, revealing the depletion of thousands of hectares of this major carbon filter for Ghana. This miner tells us he works for one Emilia, who we later learned is a politician. Other miners are not happy that her equipment were left out of a recent onslaught against illegal mining in the forest. When the soldiers came, they met one of our excavators on the road and they bent it. These equipment belong to Mama Emilia's group. She's a former women's organizer for MPP at Jacobo. We don't know why they did not bend her equipment. The chief of Kobro, Nanayao Enin, tells a story of how he and his elders were treated when they confronted soldiers guarding illegal miners in the forest in 2022. On Monday, I, my linguist and some of my elders took a trip deep into the forest. We met a barrier manned by armed soldiers. This was in 2022. I introduced myself as the chief of Kobro and caretaker of the forest for Bekwai Paramountsi. I told them we've noticed some activity in the forest. We demanded to see their documents so we could inform the king of their presence. The soldier called the owner of the mining site on phone and told him of our presence. His boss told him to ask us whether the forest is owned by the government or the people of Kobro. We couldn't challenge the armed soldiers, so we left. Reporting for Joy News, Erastus Asaridonko, Kumasi.